so good evening everyone today i will be beginning with this new series in which i will be answering various questions that of interview that were asked to me when i ap appeared in my first ssb interview so hope you will like this series and i will be posting uh, various videos in which i will be answering the questions so that is all and continue watching the video so nishant can you please tell me uh, everything that you have written in this piq form for the next 5 minutes so my name is nishant singh and i belong to greater noida uttar pradesh but uh, currently i'm residing in koda rajasthan since last 10 years because of my father's posting so talking about my family my family consists of four members including me so my father he is an army personnel and currently posted at cm cm jabalpur and my a uh, father's name is subeda teet singh my mother she is a lovely homemaker and uh, her name is geeta singh so my brother he is currently preparing for the national level exam neat and his name is prashant singh so talking about my educational qualifications i have completed my class 10th from army public school kota and in class 10th i scored 94% marks currently i am appearing in class 12 board examination term 2 and the subjects that i chose in class 11 uh, it was PCM and so talking about the various co-curricular activities that I have participated in, I have participated in Nukkar Natak, English and Hindi skits. Also, so I have participated in in English and in Hindi poem recitation competitions. I was also a part of a science project that I that our school took to the departments of science and technology. I have also. Uh, i have also went to state level competition and uh, i have also i was also selected for the state level examination in national children science congress and so uh, talking about the sports that i have played i represented my house that was that was shubhash house in class 10th and the championship that i that i participated in it was inter house football championship and, and in that sir, my house won so talking about ncc sir i have been in ncc for complete 4 years sir in class 8th i joined air wing as a cadet and in that time i was in junior division in the second year i was promoted to the rank of sergeant in class 11th i again joined ncc and this time i was in senior division and in second year i was again promoted to the rank of under officer so talking about myself sir i my height is 166 cm and my weight is 54 kg so my bmi comes out to be 19.19.1 so i am completely physically and mentally fit sir uh, so talking about the nature of commission i i have opted for sir i have i have opted for permanent commission and i am one time conference out from 24 ssb uh, 24 ssb bangalore and so that is all thank you So Nishant, uh, I think that you didn't say say anything about your hobbies. Can you please tell me something about your hobbies? Uh, yes, sir. Talking about my hobbies, sir, so I am having various hobbies, and some of them are that I like running. And till now, I have completed two half marathons. And sir, now I can easily run thirty uh, to forty kilometers. I also like uh, reading, sir. So I have completed many novels till now. And sir, the uh, my favorite author is Rachna Bish Rawat. and my favorite book it is can't hurt me by david goggins also sir i like i like to be aware about all the current happenings around the globe so sir i also uh, read newspapers and i also watch uh, cut the clutter on youtube channel and sir uh, my fourth hobby is that i like to socialize sir so i like to talk to uh, new people that i find and i also like to take experience from their life sir So Nishant, as you stated that running is your hobby, also like you read, also you like reading, and you also like to be aware about all the current happenings, and you like to socialize too. So as you have completed completed two half marathons, I would like to know what was the route that you took, also your maximum and min minimum speed, also your average pace, and uh, did you run in a group or you were alone? Also, what was the reason why you ran? and also i would like to know what was the motivation behind your running how did it started yes sir i yes sir till now i have completed uh, two half marathons so first of all 
talking about the roots here sir i started my run from sp choraya and from sp choraya i went to mala fatak mala fatak it is close to my school and there is a road that is just besides my school and it is closer to our area that road it is uh, the complete road it is of 5 kilometers so uh, i first completed the whole road after that i went to the station area from antagar choraya to station area and uh, when i reached the station area i've completed 5 kilo, uh, 15 kilometers because that complete road it is of 11 to 12 kilometers after uh, reaching the station area sir uh, i crossed rk jain coaching and after that janakpuri and then i again reached to mala fatak and uh, when i reached mala fatak i i had completed 18 kilometers then after that i again uh, went to sp choraya and from sp choraya i went to my home i went to my house and this completes my 21 kilometers uh, 21 kilometer run sir and sir talking about my average pace it was uh, somewhat 8 to 9 kilometers per hour and sir the time the complete time that i took it was 2 hours and uh, 29 minutes also sir i completed my run Uh, with my friends uh, i was doing it with two of my friends uh, they, they their name was samrat and sumit also sir the motivation that was behind uh, this run sir so i so when i completed my first half marathon it was 15th of august sir so uh, all three of us we wanted to pay tribute we wanted to pay homage to all those martyrs who have sacrificed their life for the nation sir so this is how uh, i completed my first marathon and so talking about my motivation sir so my motivation is that i have already stated my favorite book is can't hurt me by david goggins so sir david goggins he is a ultra marathon runner so my my motivation comes from him only sir like uh, i consider him as a really very brave and good person because he started from nowhere and he has achieved so many things so my motiv my motivation was him that if he can do it then i think that i must do it so these were the two things and so uh, that is all okay so you have started because you like david goggins no problem so uh, as you have already stated that your favorite book is can't hurt me by david goggins i would like to know that what all books you have read till now and also uh, the things that you learned from can't hurt me by david goggins and i have one doubt if your favorite author is rachna bish rawat why your favorite favorite book is not from uh, from the books that she has written why it is from a different publisher why it is from a different author yes sir so my favorite book is can't hurt me by david goggins and sir my favorite author she is rachna bish rawat so first of all uh, talking about the four things that i have learned from uh, can't hurt me by david goggins for sure sir there are very there are many things that i have learned from this book but but the top four most thing that i still implement in my life sir i will be telling you that only so the first thing is that everyone uh, must have an accountability mirror sir this accountability mirror uh, is like that you have to stand in front of this mirror uh, hanging on the wall and uh, in the morning and also in the night so in the morning you have to plan your day standing in front of uh, the mirror and you have to also say the things that you were Uh, not able to complete yesterday and the things that you are going to do today in the night sir you have to repeat the same procedure like what all things you day or did and also the things that you are grateful for also sir the, the things that you will be day you will be doing tomorrow or the plan for tomorrow and sir uh, this accountability mirror it also says that if you are standing in front of this then everything that happens in your life you are accountable for it no matter what whatever happens you are the person who is accountable for his life second thing is that everyone everyone must have a cookie jar sir a uh, cookie jar uh, david goggin says that everyone must have a cookie jar in which uh, there must be many cheats or uh, many cheats in these cheats uh, various good thing about yourself should be written like if you did something uh, good to others if you helped someone if you scored good marks so uh, whenever you feel sad whenever you feel depressed you can open this uh, cookie jar box and after that uh, you can read good about yourself and you can feel good so the third thing that i learned is that even if all your hope is gone even if every single ray of hope is vanished from your life still there will be a window from which hope will be coming and 
uh, you should not lose hope even if you are at the worst phase even if you are doing nothing good you must do what you are doing and in the coming days in the coming weeks you are going to sh- uh, you will be seeing that ray of hope and so fourth thing is that every single person who is present they are having a governor in their mind sir this governor is just like it wants comfortable it wants comfort uh, so this governor wants comfort uh, in his in his life and this is why every single thing that makes our body uncomfortable there there are various thoughts in our mind that you cannot do it you must not do it it, it is going to be dangerous all these thoughts these come from these this governor only so you must control this governor so now talking about uh, rachna bishravat so rachna bishravat she is my favorite author because of various things first of all she writes book on military on topics related to military also war stories the books that i have read uh, that are authored by rachna bishravat are the charge of gorkhas uh, the brave uh, the the kargil stories from uh, the battlefield of kargil and so many more books like this also insomnia and shoot die fly and so talking about all the uh, talking about the books that i have read till now uh, i started reading books 2 years ago and now till now i have read 20 to 25 books some of them are like the power of a subconscious mind also uh, the art attitude is everything by jeff keller uh, the miracle morning also sir the power of your the power of your brain how to control yourself and sir the game of olqs ssb short shot academy's uh, guide to ssb general uh, colonel nehru's uh, guide to become an officer and sir i have read harry potter i, I have read jeronimo stilton and many more books like this sir and sir in the end i would like to uh, answer your last question that why rachna bishravat why a book written by rachna bishravat is not my favorite book sir so for this i would like to tell you that sir when i read can't hurt me by david goggins the time mattered more in this case because at that time it was my vacation that were going on and i was feeling lethargic i used to feel to do nothing i used just used to use my phone and i was completely unproductive so one of my brother's friends suggested me to read this book so when i started i was same like that it is going to be the same it is not going to do anything but when i started reading it sir the life of david goggins he uh, started from uh, he started from scrap sir and he ended in ended his life in like complete heaven sir uh, he is now 40 to 45 years old and he has completed 70 marathons triathlons ultra marathons and he has done the buds course of navy seals thrice also sir he has set up the world record of most number of pull ups that is 8848 sir so sir i was really very motivated after reading his story and sir i think uh, in this case the time mattered more because at that time i was not feeling uh, quite well in my life like i was uh, completely doing nothing i was unproductive so this is why sir can't hurt me by david goggins Uh, motivated me more talking about rachna besh rawat's book sir these books are also really very good i like them uh, the author she is able to express all her feelings in really a very good manner and i like uh, these books a lot but talking about just it was just a matter of time and just because of that my favorite book became can't hurt me by david goggins sir so so okay nice that rachna besh rawat is your favorite author so uh, as you like to be aware about all the current happenings so please tell me two international news and two national news yes sir two international news and national news sir so first of all uh, the news that is currently very famous that uh, russia invaded ukraine in uh, late february and now russia is capturing more la- more land they have captured uh, Se- servadip vostok uh, it is a it is the second largest country after kiev sir so they are capturing it more and news have also come that uh, ukrainian army they are capturing more uh, tanks and also destroying more tanks by their uh, barakter drones that they have taken from turkey also sir uh, ukraine they have resisted russian attacks russian attack for 3 months and it is really a very big deal also sir uh, uh, it is bit uh, demotivating for ukrainians but 
russians have also captured the azov steel plant uh, it is the biggest steel plant that is present in europe sir okay nishant tell me international news except from russia and ukraine please okay sir so not russia and ukraine sir so the first news is that recently sir in america uh, a massacre took place in a high school that was based in las vegas sir and sir a teenager he was in 11th standard he fired on many st uh, students that were junior to him just because he was uh, having anxiety and depression issues also sir he was bullied by his seniors so just in revenge he uh, bought a he bought a rifle from uh, he bought a authorized rifle for himself and after that uh, on the the day uh, it was monday just after the weekend day, he came to the school and after the recess sir he fired at uh, all the students that were uh, present in one class and after that sir 17 students died sir also sir second international news i would like to tell you that uh, recently sir australian president there were election that took place in australia and the new australian president have been has been elected and this uh, new australian uh, sorry sir australian prime minister has been elected and sir there was a quad meeting that took place in tokyo in which uh, all the representatives of the country like prime minister narendra modi uh, joe biden all these came to tokyo and discussed on various things like russia ukraine and also their bilateral issues and semiconductor chips and there were many things that were discussed sir so now talking about the national news that is uh, currently going on around in india sir so the first national news is uh, sir it is quite cringe but yes sir uh, recently sir sonia gandhi uh, got infected by uh, corona and sir now she is in quarantine sir also uh, sir the whole gandhi family they will be interrogated by uh, enforcement directorate or and also sir uh, cbi because there are cases against them of money laundering because uh, uh, there was a newspaper company i am forgetting the name but Uh, it was bought by the gandhi family but after the, after the newspaper company went bankrupt sir uh, there are charges that uh, the gandhi family they took money from uh, they took money from uh, this newspaper company and they uh, collected it in an illegal way uh, the things are not yet proven but this is the case that will be going on and both rahul gandhi and sonia gandhi they have to uh they have to appear in front of the enforcement directorate so that they can answer or interrogate them so that they can reach a conclusion sir so second thing is that again it is related to enforcement directorate sir sir satyendra jain who is the health minister of uh delhi sir he is one of uh, the persons who is present in aam aadmi party he is he will also be interrogated by enforcement directorate because uh, he is also having charges of money laundering and so these are the two in, uh, national news nishant i want you to tell me uh, two national news except uh, those that are coming from the political arena of our country so uh, the first national news is that recently sir the army the army aviation have commissioned a first female officer into their regiment sir and this is uh, one of its kind news because for the first time a female officer Uh, she has been inducted and in, to the army aviation second news is that recently sir one of the uh, famous and most popular pop singer of the punjabi music industry his name is sindhu mosewala he was shot dead in his uh, parent district that is mansa and after that all those who have shot him uh, they have been captured by punjab and Har haryana police also various people like lawrence bishnoi and other people that were involved in this case Uh, they have been taken into custody for further interrogation sir okay you also said something about uh, cut the clutter there was some clutter clutter and uh, you said that shekhar gupta you watched something on youtube and this also helps you in improving your knowledge so i would like to know more about cut the clutter and why you started watching it and the things that you like most in uh, cut the clutter also uh which was your favorite episode that you have watched till now 
सर कट द क्लैटर इट इज़ अ सीरीज ऑफ एपिसोड सर इन विच शेखर गुप्ता द एडिटर इन चीफ ऑफ द प्रिंट कम्स एंड टेल्स अस और गिव्स अस नॉलेज सर सो द प्रिंट इट इज़ एन ऑनलाइन न्यूज ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कंपनी एंड दे हैव अ यूट्यूब चैनल हैविंग वन पॉइंट सिक्स मिलियन सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑल्सो द प्रिंट वॉज स्टार्टेड फाइव टू सिक्स ईयर्स अर्लियर सर शेखर गुप्ता ही स्टार्टेड इज जर्नलिज्म कैरियर इन नाइनटीन एटीज एंड फर्स्ट ही वॉज पोस्टेड इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट ही बिकेम द एडिटर इन चीफ ऑफ द प्रिंट एंड आफ्टर दैट ही स्टार्टेड इज ओन ऑनलाइन ब्रॉडकास्टिंग ऑनलाइन न्यूज ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कंपनी द प्रिंट एंड सर ही हैज़ ऑल्सो रिटन मेनी बुक्स ऑन द इंडियन हिस्ट्री ऑन द इंडियन वॉरफेयर एंड इज फेवरेट टॉपिक टू डिस्कस इज मिलिट्री सर मिलिट्री वॉरफेयर और समथिंग रिलेटेड टू मिलिट्री सर सो सर रिसेंटली आई विल बी टेलिंग यू द मेन मोटिव ऑफ कट द क्लैटर सो आई थिंक दैट ऑल ऑफ अस वॉच न्यूज ऑन द टी वी चैनल्स ऑल ऑफ अस वॉच आज तक एंड मेनी मोर न्यूज़ चैनल्स सो आई विल गिविंग गिविंग यू एन एग्जाम्पल लाइक द वॉज अ न्यूज़ ऑन आज तक एंड अदर चैनल्स दैट मोर एंड मोर रशियन टैंक्स आर बींग डिस्ट्रॉयड बाय द यूक्रेनियन फोर्सेज सो दे डेंट टोल द रीजन नो वन टोल द रीजन बट शेखर गुप्ता रिसेंटली ही मेड हिज एपिसोड ऑन द रिसेंट वॉरफेयर दैट इज टेकिंग प्लेस इन रशिया एंड यूक्रेन एंड फ्रॉम दैट ही इन एज ट्वेंटी वन मिनट्स एपिसोड सर ही इज गोइंग टू टेल यू एवरी थिंग अबाउट द टैंक वॉरफेयर हाउ इट वॉज डेवलप्ड कैवलरी एवरी सिंगल थिंग एंड इन द एंड ही इज गोइंग टू टेल यू द रीजन लाइक नो वन टेल्स यू द रीजन बट इन कट द क्लटर द थिंग विच इज अंडर द क्लटर इट इज गोइंग टू बी डी क्लटर्ड so the main reason why russian tanks are being destroyed is that uh, the russian tanks their ammunition is just uh, below their turret sir so any time uh, a rocket launcher or anti tank guided missile hits the hits that part the ammunition that is present in the tank uh, it gets blown off and just because of that the complete tank the whole tank uh, gets destroyed within seconds sir so this is the main reason so it was just one of the episodes Uh, that it was just one of the episodes in which he is decluttering things but recently he has completed his 1000 episodes and now in all these 1000 episodes he, ha- he has decluttered something so so talking about uh, uh, how i started watching cut the clutter sir so it was i was in 11th standard sir and when i was in 11th uh, someone on social media suggested me this thing sir like if you want to increase your knowledge you must start watching cut the clutter by shikhar gupta so once i visited his youtube channel i was really fascinated by the info- by the amount of information that he was giving so since then only i am watching it also sir the things that i like most about the cut the clutter the first thing is that everything that uh, is recorded in the video of shikhar gupta uh, it is on it is the background that is present it is natural sir like he is not recording under a screen or there uh, there are no special effects if he is recording in the morning time i am going to hear the chirping of bird also if it is raining uh, i am going to hear the noise of raining also he has recorded it, uh, episodes on highway he has recorded episodes in northeast so the background it is really very pleasing and soothing sir so second thing is the amount of information that he is uh, the shekhar, shekhar gupta is giving and sir i think that shekhar gupta it is vasco da gama of india sir because uh, it, uh, if we are going to take any incident he is going to be somewhere near to that inc- incident because in 1991 i remember that in 1991 in one of his episodes he tell that when russian disintegration was taking place he was somewhere near the russian subcontinent sir so this is what i like and uh, the third and the next thing that i like is that Uh, sir shekhar gupta is not biased when he is providing information if he is biased he is going to uh, tell in the starting of the episode that this is a opinion based video otherwise he is not not at all biased he is going to tell everything impartially sir so these are the things that i like sir and uh, one of my favorite episodes it is just recently that i have watched sir like i have i told you about uh, the russian warfare that is taking place and why russian tanks are dis- being destroyed more sir so so this is my favorite episode okay so as you are saying that shekh gupta is really very amazing he is vasco da gama i think that i myself should start watching cut the clutter